Good afternoon. This weekend has brought a lot of sunshine and a lot of warmth to the UK. There's more of that to come on into the week ahead as well. Our weather picture is looking pretty settled. Yesterday, we broke a new temperature record in Northern Ireland, 31.2 degrees Celsius, the highest temperature ever recorded in the country. It does look quite different in Down though today. There's more cloud around and it also feels different. Hello, a very good evening to you. Another very hot day across the country and the heat wave continues as we go through this week. Temperatures in excess of 30 Celsius for some of us over the next few days. So you'll need to keep cool, find a shady tree. Very little rain in the forecast, save for perhaps a few isolated thundery downpours over the next few days or so. Hello there, good evening. A very warm, OK, hot day today, up uh, well into the 30s. And unfortunately, that means that it's going to be a very uncomfortable night's sleep. Not much of a breeze and temperatures only getting down in town to around 16 or 17 Celsius. We have the whole gamut of airborne irritants out there at the moment. High levels Monday and Tuesday might moderate a touch midweek. And that's for grass, weeds and fungal spores too. Good evening. It's been a hot day, of course, across London and the South East. It's been a hot weekend, actually. The big question is, will it last? And the answer is yes, because over the last few days, the heat's been building. We've had high pressure in control of our weather, and we keep that high through the bulk of this week. It's always trying to kill off any low pressure systems that are pushing in from the southwest. So we stay dry and settled. It looks like right the way through until next weekend. Hello again. It's been another hot and sunny day for the majority of the UK. Not just hot, actually, it's been the hottest day so far this year, with temperatures recorded at Heathrow, 31.6 degrees Celsius, the new high mark uh, for 2021. Now on the satellite picture, you can see the extent of the day sunshine again. Across northern Scotland, we have seen a little bit of thicker cloud here, but even there, it's been bright with some spells of sunshine coming through. Now overnight tonight, after such a hot day, those temperatures are very slow to fall away. So I'm not going to show you the minimum temperatures, but probably more importantly, the bedtime temperatures. And these are what you might expect at around 11 o'clock tonight and still up at 25 degrees in London. I have to say it is the towns and cities that hold on to the heat in the countryside at the same time. You can knock around four or five degrees off those kind of temperatures. Hello there. And for most of us, it's been a hot and sunny day indeed. This weekend, we've seen new highest temperature of the year marks set in Scotland, in Wales and in England. 31.6 today at Heathrow is also the UK's highest temperature of the year, but arguably more impressive is the extreme heat that we had yesterday in Northern Ireland. You see, the 31.2 we had in Ballywaticock in County Down was not only Northern Ireland's hottest day of the year so far, it was actually the highest temperature we've ever recorded. And these extremes of heat are becoming a little bit more commonplace due to climate heating. But the hottest weather again is across England and Wales, where we'll probably see the hot spots somewhere to the west of London, round about Hampshire, I think, with highs of 30 degrees. Now, the reason our weather pattern's really stuck at the moment is we've got this blocked pattern in the jet stream. This is a cutoff low to our west. It was one of these that was partly responsible for that catastrophic flooding that we saw in Germany. But here in the UK, we're underneath this ridge and underneath these, the air descends down through the atmosphere and collects. Well, that's an area of high pressure. And because the pattern's blocked, things just don't move around very much. And so we're not going to see that much variation day to day. 